interesting question from one of our Discord members. I've never once been recommended a Zotac, XFX, or PNY graphics card. With big boys like Gigabyte, MSI, and Asus, how do the smaller guys not get muscled out of existence? Hmm. This is interesting because I think most of the cards that even we cover on the channel are usually just from the, the, the big three brands. We don't double too much in like a Zotac, for example. No, not Zotac. XFX we do. Uh, some of those brands like Power Color and XFX and the, the Radeon Sphere, they have a pretty big supporter base, a lot of Radeon GPU owners, mm. <laughs> which seem, sounds a little funny saying that, <laughs> given the market share difference. But there are a lot of uh, fans of Radeon GPUs that prefer, say, XFX over Asus. Uh, so they generate sales that way. I think being an exclusive partner, there are allocation and sort of perhaps discounts and things like that. Pr certainly they get priority access and support. So that's probably what helps there. Um, this is probably largely closely guarded stuff and there'll be contracts and things that we're not privy to. <laughs> but yeah, I, I know here in Australia, companies like XFX, they happen to do really good deals directly with retailers rather than going through sort of the traditional methods that bigger companies would use so it's probably sort of the the ability of the smaller companies to move more aggressively and more directly whereas mm. you know asus and that would use typical channels and yeah but they i mean in recent years they've been able to sell everything they could make so that's probably helped them a lot mm. um, we did see evga drop off though but that was an nvidia direct partner who was by all accounts very successful in America. Mm. But. Yeah, I think you can underestimate the size of companies like PNY and Colorful and those brands because they're not huge in markets like the US or Australia, but they have quite a large presence in some countries in Asia. A lot of so, sub-brands as well. Yeah, so companies like PNY, they're, they're not as small or as uncompetitive with like a Gigabyte and Asus as you might think. They're probably not the same scale as those brands, but they they have a pretty big presence in places like the Chinese market. That's true, yeah. Um, so you might see even just in some other countries where there'll be some brands, as you say, like they have a better distribution deal. So in one country, you might get PNY cards at a really good rate compared to a Gigabyte or Asus, but then in another country, you might see an MSI that's got a really good distribution deal there. So there's some like regional battles and those sorts of things that go along. So yeah, I think a lot of the reviewers, people that test GPUs do generally stick to like the, the Asus, the Gigabytes, the MSIs as well, because at times when there's like a launch of a GPU, especially if there's no like founder's edition or reference model, AMD or NVIDIA might support you to get a GPU that's more like a gigabyte card mm. rather than like a PNY card or something. So that tends to help like reviews at the time. Um, but uh, yeah. Yeah. They, I think with AMD, they largely sample like Sapphire, XFX and PowerColor mm. um, unless, well, MSI has fallen off yeah, a cliff at that point. I think they're really them, making but, them, are they? But, but yeah, Asus and Gigabyte, probably less likely to get them directly from AMD. But yeah, it depends on the release and what they've got available uh, be in my experience, Asus pretend, uh, prefer rather to sample reveals directly than go through like the review mm -hmm. program. They certainly do go through the review program. It's just less likely. Mm. Yeah, it depends what's available. Like mm. some companies don't necessarily have stuff at, at launch ready mm -hmm. um, to go for sort of the pre-release review period and, and things like that. So yeah, I don't think there's any reason not to buy like a Zotac GPU or an XFX GPU or PNY or whatever. Most of the time, there are some exceptions, of course. There have been some real dud products, so try and avoid those things. But yeah, like I mean, that... Sapphire is pretty yeah. much always good. XFX is generally very good. Uh, and yeah, so P and Y and that probably a, a little bit different. But yeah, there, there's certainly brands, Power Color Sapphire, come to mind of always delivering the goods. Yeah. So yeah, you don't have to just stick to the, the big brands and certainly... Especially with companies, we've already talked about how MSI isn't really making Radeon GPUs at the moment. Even at companies like Asus and Gigabyte, they clearly have a strong focus on making GeForce products. So if you were going to go with an AMD card, the brands you've talked about, the uh, AMD exclusive partners, are probably going to be a little bit more focused on making those products really high quality. Yeah. Um, You'd hope to get good support from an XFX or a Sapphire, given that's their bread and butter. That's what they do. So. Yeah. I mean, what was it? We heard from one of the major OEMs that their AMD market share was like... 10% of sales or something. It was a very low number. Mm. Um, so you can see why they would focus on 
the G4 stuff over the Radeon stuff if that's what they're seeing internally. But at a Sapphire, it's 100% Radeon. So they're going to focus on that and make good quality products. So mm -hmm. yeah, that helps out a little bit.